Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard drive here at Fine Tune CB. Where's my smoker? Excuse me a moment. <coughs> look around. Take a good look, okay? Investigate. Let me, first off, let me introduce to you my attenuator. I can't see the camera on the angles. You should be able to see that. That's a 60 or a 40 and a 20 total of 60 dB attenuator on the tone generator, okay? Which basically shuts it off. Tone. Alright? And, uh, one of these. Wide open. It's a two by four. We're not going to try to slam it real hard. It's going to get matched up to a little radio. It'll be used as a base with another big amplifier behind it. It's a well known person, known in many facets. Okay. <coughs> well, again, I, looking up, that's way up in the corner there. Okay. What did I do? Let me see here it is. I don't know, it was three or so years ago I put a video up on Facebook. Got a lot of views, a lot of controversy. It's been on YouTube now for a while. It's got quite a few views. But when I did it, I had to do something like this. You know, well, that's what time it is. Tuesday. But uh, back then, you know, I used my camera. Is this thing recording? Yeah, it's recording like uh, this. That's what I had to do. And I had to use my other hand to do shit. So when I said you could see my hands, you knew that this hand was being used for this and this hand was being used for that. But it was a pretty, pretty shitty of a video actually. Yeah, I had a pretty, pretty decent attitude too going on people, you know, just people in general. And it had to do with coax length and class C amplifiers. Now remember that, class C and coax length. Nothing else, those two things. Oh, and like uh, some people say, I don't know the speed of light or how to calculate a wavelength. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty good at it actually. You know, uh, in the 70s, we didn't have scientific calculators. We did this shit with paper and pencil. No calculators, paper and pencil. As a matter of fact, one of the things were between the difference between SI and the metric system. And I'll give you a cookie if you guys figure it out or you can show me that you can do it. Show me the difference. And you can show me the difference for what I just described above. You'll be able to show me the, the A channels perfectly at the end, okay? Next topic. Well, by the way, it's AU sliced and diced, you know, to the speed of electrons divided by frequency, you know, slice it and dice it, you know, times meter or meters. Make sure you get the decimal correct. And that's for a full wavelength. Divide that by two for a repeater times velocity factor of the coax. And by the way, Velocity factor of coax, see that's a hundred foot. Okay, that's cool. Fine. What manufacturer are you using? Because is it got the same velocity factor at 99 foot, at 50 foot, or 10 foot? Yeah, I think you better do some research. Then, you know, considering it's foam coax, you're going to connect it to, say, one of these. Yeah. With its molecular makeup and its capacitance, resistance, velocity factor, whatever you want to call it. And then what happens to it when you solder the end on and it's got foam in there. The more denser of a material, the more the resistance and lower the velocity factor. Don't forget to convert the decimal into inches. And I'm going to leave it all at that. If you guys get to figure it out, fine. I don't want to make coax. I hate making this shit. But I do. By the way, Rodney, <laughs> scope tuned coax is correct. Get you a good scope, man. 
Don't buy secondhand shit. Get something from a manufacturer or, a, or someone that refurbishes them and can offer you a, a traceable or NIST certification calibration. Because if you start slicing and dicing stuff up to look on a scope, all right, and it's, it's actual length, it's electrical length, properly terminated and or its characteristic impedance by using a scope, you can. You can do this and see all the bumps along the line. You know, it's got to be terminated right. Anyways, I forget where this is set. Let's go on with this video. I'm only going to do two different ones. How many minutes? Five minutes. I only got plenty of time. Whew, it's warm in here. All right, let's take a look at the radio. I'm going to show you a couple things that I can do here. 27.205. And if you can't see this, look at the numbers that I'm typing. It's all plain sight shit. No wah 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 crap. Wah wah wah. And we don't need none of that. Alright. So we're looking at about 120%. This radio is not tuned at this low of a power output. So yeah, that's actually kind of cool. So let's take a look at it here and. Kilohertz. It's not bad. It's really damn good. It's mine. All right. Now you can see. Watch my fingers over here. You'll see me go up against the AMC circuit right about there. Volts. And I'll turn it a whole bunch more. So I'm injecting the shit out of it. All right. All right. So now let me hit the 40 dB pad. I'm gonna push them both in. Notice how I killed the modulation. I used to use this, but this has been modified for injecting tone on and off. I could use it for a tracer, injector, all kinds of different shots, but this is all about over here. All right. So, now that we know I can shut this off, you'll see why later. That just kills the modulation, or what you see here. See that? And I can unkey it, kill the modulation, unkey it, and maintain specific measurements without when I got two hands you know and I can still go about my work so let's look at this at 30 megahertz yeah 300 yep nice huh yep make sure the camera's still in there you can see how it all looks yeah you can see it let's see get this out of the way maybe a little bit yeah not bad Now let's uh, go back to say 30. That's the radio. Oh, they're both running like about 14.1. I need to disconnect that, but okay. We all know what this is. We watch enough videos. That's how I even know what it is. You know, I keep this on there for a reason. So that is an antenna. Okay. I keep my hands here so no one's got no bullshit. You know what I mean? Bullshit. So I see them? Alright, cool. I'm looking at the camera myself to make sure everything's copacetic here. So let's take this. Yes, compensation is made for the added length and other variances. So let's put this in here. We, we have a little bit of insertion loss. Let's modulate it. Now let's go back to 300. Notice that we have some harmonics. Alright, we do. It's obvious. Through the relay, whatever. I ain't getting into the amp. I ain't building amps. Don't want to build them. Send me some good shit. That's all you got to do. Okay, but now you see how we've induced to this signal harmonics. Let's go to 0.1 kilohertz. It's going to be the same. All right. Cool. So let's uh, 
Oh, okay. This ought to be cool. Let me turn this down. One, two. That should do it. And turn this on. Notice the uh, peak ratio. Now I'm just going to kill the modulation. Set it in there. It's got some noise, as you can see. This is a 2x4. One of the four has been replaced, the outside one. This gentleman's had this amp for a long time. Very well known person in many facets of the radio world. It's going to be used as a basin driver. I told him, you know, hey, it's dirty, man. Real dirty. But some of this won't be canceled. But if this is going into another amp and input tunes right on the money, yeah, nothing that I'd want to use. Let's go to 30. Okay, and 300. Now it's modulated. Now this, I don't want to keep this thing hammered this hard. Someone mentioned that changing the coax length couldn't change your SWR. So I got news for you. You just looked at it. Plain and simple. You looked at it. Whenever you pinch the carrier, right at carrier cutoff, you're creating more harmonics. And I could sit here and dial in each one of them and look at the splatter of each one. You calculate all that shit up, run that down your coax to your antenna, you're going to have reflect in a higher SWR of anything that's over on the negative peaks. Period. That's why a lot of you guys see that shit, don't know what it is. You know, you'll, you'll key it, try to set your SWR with an analyzer, you come back, you put a different amp on it, different radio, different coax. You're seeing all kinds of weird shit, right? Well, pay attention. There's no hocus flipping pocus going on. See everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, cool. Alright, so let's unkey it again. Let's modulate the radio. Alright? That's what we got going on. Alright? From that point, it reaches 100%. And I can keep turning this way up. I'm injecting the shit out of it. And some more mic gain, see? See how it stays there? See my hand? Watch, so you know. Yeah, I'm really pumping it in. Alright. That might cause us a little issue here in a minute, because this thing is... It does have some issues. Alright, so there we are. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. About right there. Can I see it? Now let's turn this down. It's about there. Turn that on. Now I'm going to kill the modulation. I'm going to turn that down and get the fuzz out of there. Reset it and remodulate. This is what you call a non linear amplifier. So now this time, let me I'm turn this down so it's not so sensitive. Now it's just a mic gain. Due to the fact that it's a class C, it makes changes everything. Let's bring it to that point right there. Alright? We kill the modulation. Get all calibrated in. And we can look at it like this also. Let's leave it like that. See it? See everything? 100 watt carrier. Modulation, let's get it right there at the edge. See it? There's that hand. <laughs> and I see? No hocus pocus. Now let's just unkey it. Connect that. Just plug this one in. I believe that's all in plain sight. Yeah, see? <clears throat> now, 
notice the negative peaks, you notice the power output, you notice everything. Let me turn the modulation off. And recalibrate the scope. You can do it any way you wish. This is much easier to see. It's exactly the same as a, a regular reference, one bar up, one bar down, but just twice the size. Everything is in perfect calibration, but you can see so much more like this. Now it's modulated. This one is under modulated. Tricky, isn't it? Let's modulate the hell out of it again. Let's bring it back down to this point. Kill the modulation. Alright. See the power, see everything. Alright, so we're just going to unkey it. Instead of doing 10 different coaxes, because 10 different coaxes are going to have 10 different readings. This one, and let's, uh, I'm just going to kill it, All right. let's get it back in there again and remodulate it. See how the readings are changing? Well, this is why it's stated, trust me, I don't want to have to go through all this shit because I hate it. I'm so sick of doing this shit already. People want to argue, etc. That was all pretty much in place, so let's shut this back off. Key the radio. Those are off. Remodulate it. See? Well, I hope some of this was informative. By the way, these are not all created equal. A matter of fact, you take 50 of them, and each, each one's going to be different. You know, normally a, a class C is, you know, 90 degrees it conducts. That's what you're seeing here. This one appears to be more than 90 degrees. The input tune is fairly decent. It's dirty. Part of it's due to the, one of the pills, and you can, you can see it. But, you know, in this arena of CB shit, they range from probably 70 to over 120 degrees. So you never, it's like, you know, a box of chocolates. But can it be tuned in? Yeah, you can. But you can't go changing nothing after that point. You just seen like a 25, 30 watt carrier variance, I believe. All right, you can back it up, watch it all you want. You know. There's no reason to argue, it was all there in front of you. No, I didn't do this time either. I hope everybody enjoys this. I'm not here to wanting to argue with nobody, trust me. This isn't, I never did this to argue with anybody. Alright, y'all be cool, it's hard drive. 163, down by the Rio Grande. And by the way, I've had the same name. For 55 years, okay? The same phone number for a long time, too. A lot of people have it. Anyways, watch out for the bullshit you guys hear out there. It's getting too deep. Y'all be cool. 163 off the key.